G to X and baby. Okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> all right. So what's up, guys? Uh, this is Fabian back here again with uh, another uh, review. Well, not a review. Uh, another video on how to really mod the phone. I have here a T-Mobile G two X. If you guys know what it is, this is the first ever dual core phone to hit the market. T-Mobile G two X. Really sexy. This phone is a power horse, man. Um, but I'm not gonna get get into too much details about that. Uh, what I want to show you guys is how to uh, install Clockwork Recovery on this phone so that uh, you can, let's say, install a custom ROM or restore back to a ROM that you liked before. Like, let's say right now we are on 2.3.3. You can restore the phone back to 2.2.2, which is uh, what first came with the phone. You had the really great camera. Um, I'm, I'm going to be doing that in the next video. But this here video, I'm just going to show you guys how to install reinstall. Clockwork recovery. Okay, so first you're gonna need, uh, you're going to need, you're gonna need the LG, uh, you, you, uh, United uh, mobile driver. Okay, you need that. You're gonna need to install it. Once you install it, uh, go ahead and reboot your computer, and then uh, we can proceed from there. First, you're gonna well, first you're gonna turn your phone off. Remove the back cover. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, when the back when the phone is completely off, if you don't care about that, you just pull the battery out. Move the battery. Shh, crap. <laughs> Move the battery. Uh, and then you're gonna go ahead and um, oh crap. Where's okay, get the USB. And hold down the volume, hold down the volume, and the, the both volume keys, hold them both down, and once they're both held down, go ahead and plug the phone in. You're going to hear a click, you're going to hear the uh, device connecting, obviously, so plug the phone in, right there, and it's connected, so that we can flash uh, the uh, clock recovery. Thing. All right, so and note that something's gonna pop up on your screen asking you uh, to install the driver. You're gonna need the APX driver. So that's why it's gonna be in the description how to get that, or where to get it to the under XDA forms. And we're gonna go to the NV Flash. Obviously, it's not gonna be called G2X NV Flash. It's gonna be called something else. I don't remember what it was. I just changed the name of the folder. You're gonna go in here. You see Flash. You go to Flash Recovery XP. If you're on Windows 7, go ahead and right click and run as administrator. If you right click and you try to run as administrator and you don't see it like the way it looks like this, then you probably run XP. It doesn't really matter. Um, run as admin. This little dollar box here, the CMD dollar box is going to pop up. The flash recovery for the P999, which is this P999, uh, 25.0.2.8 image. So go ahead and press 1 and then press enter. And watch the work happens. So we'll say the SW upgrade, and please wait while upgrading. And it's complete. Once it's completed, wait five seconds, and then you are going to press enter. And at this point, you can go ahead and unplug your phone, and you can put the battery in. And to access the recovery, you're going to have to hold down the volume key and hold the power key. And keep holding it. The LG logo is going to turn on. And when it flashes back to the uh, color LG logo, you'll notice it looks different, like the colory, colory like. You'll see it, maybe. And it'll flash here. There you go. And color and LG. Go ahead and release them both. Release the power and the home button. If you don't release them, and this pops up, is this? And when once you remove your hands, once you see this, once you remove your hands. It'll, the phone will restart. You'll have to pull the battery to do it again. Um, so here you go. You should now have uh, a recovery installed on your phone. And uh, from here you can install, reinstall ROMs, whatever, do whatever. It's really unique. It's great. Highly recommend this. Especially if you want to install another ROM or anything like that. This is the best way to go. Uh, in my next video, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, install 
uh, Android 2.2.2 back onto it if you're on Gingerbread and you don't like the uh, the new OS, the two point, the new the new Gingerbread OS because of the camera issue. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that in the next video. So stay tuned. Tap, 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 tap.